All right, hi everybody, this is Zach Day, product manager for this minimally invasive surgery product launch. And real quickly, I just wanted to walk you through how to set up the new AR200 power unit and how to attach the burrs, the pump tubing, and then we'll go over the benefits of the minimally invasive surgery product line. So we're gonna attach the AR200M handpiece, and you see you've got your red dot here, and that plugs into the red dot right there. And now that's plugged in and ready to rock and roll. And the final piece of attachment is the AR300B burr attachment. And that connects to your handpiece with a simple twist and then attach. Once you've attached, you let go. And now your burr attachment is ready and it's attached to your AR200M. So now at this point, we're ready to attach our burr. So Arthrex offers various options of burrs specific to the procedures that you'll be performing for minimally invasive surgery. So this specific burr you see here is the burr for the calcaneal osteotomy, which is a three millimeter by 20 millimeter working length burr. And these are all single use sterile packed in a nice white box. And these are just simple peel packs. So I'll pull here and pull it out. And now we're ready to attach the burr. So when we're attaching the burr, this has a locking mechanism on this 300B. You simply turn the locking me mechanism counterclockwise to open it up. You slide in the burr attachment and you lock it in clockwise and you feel a very tactile click. So now this burr is locked in. Now say you're doing a case on a patient with a l rather large foot. You can always adjust the length of this burr accordingly for that larger patient. So you can see all I did was unlock it. I found the length that I needed to and locked it back in. So one of the key things with minimally invasive surgery and why this power unit is so special as opposed to the other devices in orthopedics is this device functions at a high torque but also spins at a low velocity. So what that means is it allows surgeons to make very aggressive cuts on the bone without A, causing a drastic increase in the heat used by these burrs and also, more importantly, is that it will not wrap up any soft tissue structures, tendons, capsular tissue, etc., when they're spinning this burr. And I do think that that's important to highlight. As I spin this burr and run it up against my finger, you'll see it doesn't cut my glove. And I'm, you can see me pushing into it and creating depression on my glove, but it doesn't cut my glove. And it, it, the, same is, the same can be said about it won't cut tendons. And it's also not creating any heat, so my finger's not getting hot. And that is really the nice thing about this system and the fact that it spins at a high torque and a low speed. So the other thing that Arthrex offers within this AR200 unit is it also has a built-in pump. So this is a single wrapped sterile pump tubing that comes in a box of six. And I'll demonstrate really quickly how to set that up. In the box when you order the AR200 is your IV pole. And so this little pole actually hooks into the top of the AR200 unit and you can now hook your irrigation to that unit. And then from there, you press this button on the AR200. It pops open your pump tubing mechanism. And then I'm just gonna simply take this pump tubing. You see this end goes towards the IV pole and you're just gonna simply connect one end to the bottom there. You see how that clicks into the top and I'm gonna do the same thing here. And you want the capture tab in that little window to where it's caught. So now we're caught on both sides. Push it closed until you hear it click. So now we're going to take the AR200 SP spray clip and attach it to our AR200 motor so we can then attach the pump tubing. So this is a simple click on. A nice tactile feel with that. You can slide it all the way forward. And the surgeon can adjust where they want this flow to come out accordingly. And then we're simply gonna take the other end of our pump tubing with our little inflow, and we're gonna attach it to the, the distal end of our 200 SP. And now we are ready to move forward and we can start the surgery. So with the AR200 unit, the surgeon has the option to, to toggle through six different presets. And it's two very simple button controls. And they can simply toggle through preset six like you see here. And I can go through one, through six very simply. And that, that's just dependent upon if the surgeon wants to, you know, depending on the operation they're performing, if it's only MIS, the, the recommended RPM range uh, is to stay at the 6,000 range. But if the surgeon is going to use this for other orthopedic cases, it has a minimum speed 
of 300 RPMs and a maximum speed of 15,000 RPMs. And those can be easily toggled through with this simple up and down arrows. They can come to the RPM and they can drop it down to, for this sake, we'll just go down to 4,000 and it goes all the way up, like I said, to 15,000. But for the sake of MIS, I'm gonna keep it on six. This setting allows the surgeon to adjust the torque, uh, assuming that for whatever reason, maybe they didn't want as high torque, they can adjust this accordingly. For MIS settings, we'll just keep it at 100%. And then the final setting lets the surgeon adjust the flow rate. And that can be dropped all the way down to zero. So they can have the irrigation tubing set up. And if they don't, don't want the pump to be running, they drop this down to zero. Or they can also up it to 100. So finally, we're going to walk through the functionality of the AR200 foot pedal. It's important to note that this system does come with a bracket that attaches to the back of the foot pedal to allow the surgeon to move this foot pedal seamlessly in their case if they want to move it and get it out of the way. It has a very nice tactile feel and then with their foot they could simply pick this up and move the, the foot pedal as they need to. So the left button here on top of the foot pedal controls uh, turning the flow rate on and off. You can't adjust the flow rate but you can turn it on and off and you can see when I push the green button that my indicator here shows that flow is on. I push the green button again, flow is off, okay? The orange button cycles through the different presets. So as I push the orange button, the surgeon can toggle through different presets if they so desire. And finally, this yellow button simply adjusts whether or not you want to have an alarm that, that beeps every time you use the foot pedal. So most surgeons do not like the alarm. So with the alarm off, I push the foot pedal and my burr spins. When I turn the alarm on, now it's gonna give me an audible beeping sound to let me know that I've started the, the burr and it's gonna delay. So you'll notice I'll hit the, the foot pedal and now the burr starts spinning. So finally, I'm going to demonstrate the MIS instrument set. This is a small set that can be very helpful during various MIS procedures. And the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is the beaver handle. So Arthrex also offers uh, small little beaver blades that are attached very easily. The surgeon simply turns this handle counterclockwise to loosen up the device. They'll take their beaver blade that is sterile single packed. So we'll attach the beaver blade and we'll turn the device back clockwise and they'll feel that lock in place. And now our beaver blade is ready to go. Aside from the beaver blade, we also have a small periosteal ele elevator that is helpful to remove the periosteum. And you also have a blunt elevator that can be used to help affect your shift for various osteotomies. And then we also have a small and a large rasp slash combo elevator device. So this rasp is not designed to remove bone, but more to remove the bony debris that is created during the MIS procedures to remove that off of the soft tissue. So this is not used to smoothen out any of our osteotomies. That should all be done with the burrs. And then again, you have a small elevator on this side. And then the only difference with this other instrument is that it is a larger rasp and a larger elevator. Finally, another instrument that is critical for the calcaneo osteotomy procedure is this Sayer elevator. This is ordered separately uh, as part of the calcaneo osteotomy instruments, but can be very helpful for that MIS procedure in instances where you need to help complete the cut. This is a not a sharp instrument and it can help break through a, a cortex or two if you've missed a, a couple little places and then it's also helpful to affect your shift after you have completed the osteotomy so definitely highly recommend dropping this into your little accessory tray here that concludes our demonstration of the arthrex minimally invasive product platform and be on the lookout for upcoming medical education courses as they are scheduled